Well, hello there, geometry students. Today we're doing a CUDA worksheet tutorial on SSS, SAS, ASA, and AAS congruence. These are the postulates that prove two triangles congruent. Obviously they stand for side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side, slash, side, angle, angle. Now, this is the most difficult for most students because they have to distinguish between them. And a lot of times they get confused, especially between ones like angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. So I'm gonna show you how to know which one is which, how to distinguish between them, how to determine if they're not congruent, and let's go ahead and get started. State if the two triangles are congruent. If they are, state how you know. We're gonna approach all these problems in the same way. That is, we're gonna label what is congruent, what's given as congruent, see if there's anything that we can dis, uh, discern is congruent based on the, the diagram, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so the first step, Step one is we are going to uh, label the givens. What do I mean by that? Well, first I like to distinguish between the two triangles. This might be like a step zero, I guess. So I like to see what are my two triangles. Today let's do uh, purple and green. Now what I like to do is I like to say, okay, I know this is a given and it's a side. So I'm gonna label it as a side. Is it congruent to something else? It has to be. If it's given a little line like that, that means it's gotta be congruent to something else. And it is. It's congruent to that side of the green triangle. So that's one. Let's look for another one. Here we have an angle. It's got one line for that angle, so that's an angle. And then we have another line over here, and that's an angle. So now we have a side and an angle for both the purple and the green. Lastly, okay, it looks like we uh, are out of the givens. So we labeled all our, all our givens, but now we have to determine, uh, distinguish givens from diagram. So anytime you have uh, two triangles touching each other in some way, you're either gonna have vertical angles, vertical angles, or you're gonna have reflexive sides, reflexive sides. So you have to be mindful of those two, especially. You might have some other ones, but those are the two main ones that you're gonna see. So here we notice that, guess what? Not vertical angles, but we have a reflexive side. It belongs to both the green side of, uh, sorry, the side of the, the green triangle and the side of the purple triangle. So that's gonna be a side for purple and a side for green. Okay. Now, this is the third and probably trickiest step is we have to determine which postulate, okay? So, what we have to do is here, we have to start as, at an end letter. What do I mean by end letter? That means like this one or this one, this one or this one, this one or this one, okay? Sometimes it's hard to know which one's the end letter. The easiest way to know if it's an end letter or not, if it has a given to the left and right, immediately to the left and right, for example, if I highlight uh, this guy here, this side, okay, we see to the left we have an angle, and to the right we have a side, okay? We skipped one angle, this angle, we skipped that angle to get to that side, this side. But the point remains, we have a given to the left and a given to the right, therefore, that's not an end. Okay, whereas if I look at this side right here for purple triangle, I notice that uh, I skip, um, uh, let's see what, I skip an angle here and I skip a side. Okay, that's the difference is I skipped an angle and a side. If you skip an angle and a side, you know that is an end piece. Same thing for this angle. If I go to the right, I skip an angle and I, or I skip a side and I skip an angle. You skip two things. That means it's at the end of your letter sequence, okay? It's a little confusing, but the more times you do it, the more you get the hang of it. So I know that this one, for example, if I start at this letter S and I go this way, okay? Because obviously I can't get this, this way because I skip an angle and a side, so I can't go that way. But this way I go S, and then I land an S, and then A. So this one is S, S, A. Okay, I'm gonna start at the same letter for the other one and go to the same next given, which in this case I went to a side next, so I need to go to a side next. So go S, S, A. So this one's S, S, A. Now here's the thing. What does this spell backwards? Okay, make sure your parents aren't around. 
Okay, that's what it says backwards. Anytime you see that backwards or backwards or forwards, you know it's not one of these. So guess what? That means we don't know if these are congruent or not. So we're gonna write not congruent because we don't know. It's one of the three letter combinations that is not a congruence postulate, so it's not congruent. Okay, tough one to start off on, but I'm glad we countered that because it's gonna make the rest of them a little bit easier. Number two, we're gonna do the same step. We're gonna label the givens, we're gonna distinguish givens from the diagram, and then we're gonna determine which postulate. Let's go a little bit faster now. Hopefully you guys can recognize so I don't need to, actually I'll do it. I'll still highlight the triangle so we got a purple, and then I got green. Okay, and we're gonna go a little bit faster because we've done this in a lot of videos. Go ahead and check them out if you're bored or you just need help. So we got an angle, okay? This one is the same angle over here. Then we have another angle. This one's got another angle over here. And then we have a reflexive side. Remember, anytime two triangles are touching, most likely we got a side or an angle. So what is this? Well, we're gonna start at an end, okay? This is not an end because it's got A to the left and A to the right. Okay, so that's not an end piece. But here's an end leather, why? Because over here, we have to skip a side, we have to skip an angle, and we have to skip another side to get to the other angle, okay? So this is definitely not uh, in the middle, it is an end, so we can start here. And we gotta go to the next closest given, which in this case is side, and then we have angle. So this one's angle, side, angle. The purple's angle, side, angle. And guess what, that's our friend right here, and this is gonna be congruent, A-S-A. State of the two triangles are congruent. Yes, ASA. Done. Okay, moving faster. Not highlighting the triangles this time. Okay, we see we have S, 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 S. Reflexive, S, S. Guess what? This one's S, S, S. This one's S, S, S. S, S, S is probably the easiest one to determine, so we're gonna go yes, S, S, S. If you wrote it together, it'd look like this, yes. Okay, all right, moving on. Number four, okay, Givens, A, A, S, S. Now, this one doesn't look like there's anything else given, but you gotta look closer because there's two triangles touching. Guess what? It's vertical angles. because so we have an A and A. So we look, look here, we can just see it spelled out, A, S, A, and here we have A, S, A, and that's what it's gonna be, A, S, A, yes. Okay. This one, S, S, A, A. They're not touching, so that means we can't have any more. We only have to rely on the givens. That's not enough information, so we're gonna write not congruent. Uh, I'll shorthand it. Not congruent. Okay, this one we got touching angles, so we're gonna have an angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. That's what this one's gonna be, angle, side, angle. Okay. I did that one quick, but if you uh, wanna rewind and pause and stuff like that, it's the same process we have been doing. Okay, this one, take a look. This one's a trick though. So we have a side, we have a side. We have a side, we have another side. We have an angle, we have another angle. Okay, now don't fall into the trap and be like, oh look, I got side, angle, side. I'm good to go, this is side, angle, side. No, you need to make sure it's side, angle, side for both triangles. So this one is in fact side, angle, side because you can see that this is an end. There's not an angle there, there's a, not a side there and we don't even have to look at the rest because that's what determines if it's an end or not. Clearly the A is in the middle. So this one is clearly a side, angle, side. But look at this one. Okay, which one is an end piece? Not this side because we have an A right next to it to the right and we skip one angle and we get to another side. Okay, so that one's in the middle. That side is in the middle. This side's at an end though, because we skip an angle and we skip a side. Same deal with the A. So the A or that S at the top is gonna be our end. So let's start there. So we're gonna go, start from this guy, S, S, A, or A, S, S. So this one is, make sure your parents aren't watch, watching, A, S, S. Okay, so guess what? That is not one. So this is not congruent, they don't match up, and this one's SSA, which is bad. We don't want that, it's not what's bad. Here we have S, 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 S. This one's like a gimme. Anytime you see these ones, 
That's a gimme. You should be getting 100% on the side, side, side ones like that. Okay, here we go. Number nine. Uh, this is like one of the first ones we did in one of the previous videos. This is side. We have another side. Matches that. Matches that. We have an angle on both. This is side, angle, side. Okay. And then here we have a reflexive side. And as you can tell, this is going to be another side, side, side. So that's a yes. So there you go. We got a couple not congruent. We got uh, a lot of different options. We had side angle side. We had, I don't know if we had any angle angle side though, which is strange. We should have had some angle angle side. So hopefully let's, let's go on here and see if they have any angle angle side. They don't. What a lie. It says there's angle angle side in here and there's not. That is very disappointing. I am very disappointed by that. Wow. Okay. Well, that is uh, that's a sham. But anyway, for these ones down here, what you need to do is you just need to add an additional piece of information to make the given thing true. For example, for ASA, and I do this a lot in the other videos, for ASA, we, we look at the givens in the diagram. So this one's technically given, and then we see what we need to add to this to make it angle side angle. We already have an A over here. Now we have a side, so we have to add another angle right here. And make sure you use two lines because we don't know if it's the same. So we're going to add two angles one to both triangles, and we get ASA. Okay, side, angle, side. We already have a side given and an angle, so we just need to add actually two sides here so we can get side, angle, side. All right, let's see if there's any ones that we haven't covered in other videos. It looks like we have, we've done most of these. Um, yeah, I'm just really, I'm still upset about the angle, angle, side. If you wanna see angle, angle, side, there's another video I have on that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and like roll through these. You're gonna have to add sides for side angle side there. Uh, ASA, boom. Oh, that one almost got me. Make sure it's in between. It's gotta be sandwiched. The side has to be sandwiched between the angle bread, okay? Side angle side, it's gotta be sandwiched. Sandwich that angle. We gotta sandwich uh, the side now. See the sides here? It needs to be sandwiched in the middle. So let's add another angle. Uh, side there it is we got to add it right here sandwich that angle or side 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 we already have a reflexive side there so we just need to add boom boom right there and then we have side angle this is uh, vertical so we just need to add another side and we're done hopefully you found this helpful i'm so sorry about the angle angle side being out of this hopefully this helps you out a little bit with some of these uh determining which congruence postulate is thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time